A few years ago, I was studying uh, in graduate school, and of course, we had a Christmas break like everyone else does. And one of the things that we did is, is we went and traveled all through France, and it was a beautiful thing. We spent Christmas there and New Year's. And after New Year's, it was, had been 15 days of traveling, and it was time to go home, and we were ready to go home. And the thing about traveling through Europe is you have to switch trains. And you have to be very savvy about what all the signs say, because if you take the wrong sign or follow the wrong sign, of course, you're going to get on the wrong train. Well, we were standing out on a platform in a place called uh, Every France, and we were going to take a train down to Milan and switch trains and go back to where we lived in Rome. And the train pulled up, and the sign said Milan 1210. And my two friends of mine were standing on, on the platform smoking, and I decided to take my baguette sandwich and to jump on the train and to enjoy it while they were smoking. And then they were going to get on, and we were going to go on our way. Of course, the train was a couple of minutes early, but we didn't think anything of that. And I, I'm sitting there, and they're on the other side of the window. And all of a sudden, the train starts moving, and my friends are still on the platform. And I remember running over with my stuff, and I left the sandwich and I left my Diet Coke, and I left my chips, those, those things that I was about to enjoy and eat. And I remember opening up the door and throwing my backpack onto the platform. And then I was going to throw myself onto the platform. And the conductor of the train came up, and he put his arm on my chest, and he said, Stop! And all of a sudden, the door shut. And there was, went my friend. There went all of my things. And all I had was that baguette sandwich. And I tell you what, that sandwich tasted so good that day. I didn't speak French. I didn't know where I was going. I didn't know how long I was going to be on the train. I was the only one on that train. And the conductor wouldn't speak to me in English. And so I sat there and I ate my sandwich. And after two and a half hours, I stepped out on the train, of the train, into the most beautiful scene that I've ever seen in my entire life, which was Alberville, France. And these beautiful mountains were so huge. They were so large. They were covered in snow. And I thought to myself, this is what heaven's like. It was like stepping into a postcard. Eventually, I got my friend's phone number, and I called their cell phone, and they said, Wagner, you have to get back here. And I said, no, get on a train and come here. I said, you guys don't know what you are missing. So they said, Wagner, shut up and get on the train and come home. And so I did, and uh, I left Alberville, France, which was the most beautiful place in the whole world that I've ever been. And I found my friends in my backpack, and eventually we got back on the train to Rome. And I tell that story because it illustrates something. There are four pillars to success that I did not have on this journey to Alberville. The first one is purpose. The second one is presence. The third one is focus. And the last one is momentum. Let me give you an example. Purpose. I had no idea where I was going. And so I didn't know what to do. When you don't know where you're going, you don't know how to act. The second thing is presence. I had no clue where I was. I had no clue where I was going. I had no clue what was going on on the train, and so that created fear and anxiety. The third is focus. I didn't know what direction I was pointed in, and it was freaking me out. It was terrible. And finally, momentum. I had plenty of that, because I knew that I was going somewhere, even though I didn't know where it was exactly, and I was going there fast. That is what are the pillars of success for an individual and for an organization. For an individual and for an organization. You have purpose. What direction are you supposed to be going in? What is your goal? Because if you have clearly defined goals and clearly defined outcomes, it will define everything about your journey from where you are to where you want to be. The purpose defines how you act and what you do and who you interact with. How about presence? Where are you? Where is your organization? Where is your life personally? Because if you don't know where you are, how are you going to know which direction to go in to get to your purpose? Focus. Which direction are you facing? You might have a purpose over here, but you might be facing this direction. And there's no way you're going to get over here if you're facing over there. And so are you focused on the goal? Are you focused on the purpose? And finally, momentum. How fast are you moving? If you are, have a great defined purpose, if you know exactly where you are, if you're focused on that goal, but you're not moving, then you're not going to make it to wherever you want to be. And you see, that's the important thing. That's why these are four pillars of success. It's sort of like wheels on a car. You have to have all four or you're not going anywhere. And so think about in your own organization, your own life. Where do you want to go? 
Where are you in relation to that goal? Are you focused on where you want to be? And how fast are you moving there? And I promise you this, if you can answer those four questions and you know exactly which way you're going, where you are, and how fast you're getting there, you will arrive safely at your destination, whatever that might be, without anxiety, without fear, and without trepidation. And I tell you what, getting off the train at your final destination feels better than any surprise that happens.